Hello, I am Aaron Haney with Colorado Transportation School. This is a pre-trip vehicle inspection. The first thing I'm going to do is approach the vehicle. I'm going to look on the ground for leaks. I'm going to check the lights and make sure that they're not cloudy, they're not cracked, they're securely mounted. I'm going to check the left turn signal and make sure that it's not cloudy, broken, it's securely mounted. I'm going to check all lenses, all clearance lights for cracks or breaks. Then I'm going to lift open the hood. First, we're going to inspect the engine compartment. In the engine compartment, there are three fluid levels to inspect and three components to inspect. First, we're going to inspect all of the hoses in the engine compartment. Every single hose in the engine compartment, I would inspect and make sure it's not cracked or broken. This is the oil level. I would check that there's a proper oil level. This is an alternator. I would make sure that the alternator is securely mounted. The alternator is belt driven. The alternator does not deflect a half inch to three fourths of an inch. I would have to identify the alternator as belt driven or gear driven. This in here is the water pump. The water pump is gear driven as most water pumps are. I would check the water pump for cracks or leaks and I would make sure that the water pump is securely mounted. Now we will go to the other side of the engine. This is the coolant reservoir. I would make sure there's an adequate level of coolant. This is the power steering fluid. I would make sure there's an adequate level of power steering fluid. This is the air compressor. It is a gear driven air compressor as most air compressors are. I would make sure that it does not have any audible air leaks and I would make sure that it is securely mounted. Next we will move on to the steering box. This is the steering box. The steering box is securely mounted. The hose from the power steering fluid reservoir going into the steering box is not cracked or broken. Next we will check the steering linkage. The steering linkage I know is in safe working order because the cotter keys are in place and the bolts are on tight. Next we will do the suspension. This is the spring mount. I know that the spring mount works safe because it's properly bolted to the frame. There are no cracks or breaks. These are the leaf springs. I would make sure that the leaf springs aren't cracked, missing, shifted, or broken. These are the U-bolts that hold the leaf springs to the frame. I would make sure that the U-bolts are not cracked or broken and make sure that they are secure. This in the suspension is the shock absorber. I would make sure that the bushings are intact, it doesn't have any leaks, and it is securely mounted. Next, I would move on to the brake system. This is the brake hose and the brake line. I would make sure that they are properly fitted. I would make sure that they don't have any cracks and I would make sure they don't have any air leaks. The brake hose connects to the brake chamber. I would make sure that the brake chamber doesn't have any audible air leaks. It's securely mounted. It has no dents or damages to it. The brake chamber connects to the slack adjuster. These are manual slack adjusters. I know that is in safe working order because it sits at a 90 degree angle. The pins are in place. I should not be able to pull the slack adjuster with my hand more than one inch. The rest of the brake system includes the brake linings. I would make sure that the brake linings are not worn dangerously thin. 
I would make sure that the drum brake does not have cracks or signs of overheating. Next, we go to the wheel. This is the tire. I would make sure that the tire has the proper amount of tread, which is 430 seconds on all front tires, 230 seconds on all rear tires. I would make sure that the tires don't have any cuts, abrasions, or bulges. This is the rim. I would make sure that the rim is not cracked or have any illegal welds. I would check the inflation with an inflation gauge or a mallet. I would not kick the tire. These are the lug nuts. I know that the lug nuts are in safe working order because there are no rust trails and there are no shiny threads. Behind here is the axle hub oil seal. I would make sure that the axle hub oil seal is on. This is the mirror. I would make sure that the mirror is securely mounted. This is the door. I would make sure that the door is securely mounted. It opens and it closes. This is the fuel tank. I would make sure that the steps are secure. I would make sure that the fuel tank cap is on tight. I would make sure that the fuel tank is not leaking any fuel onto the ground. We move on to the tractor itself. The frame of the tractor, I would make sure is not cracked or broken. The battery, I would make sure that the battery is on. I would make sure that the battery is not corroded. I would make sure that the battery is securely mounted. There would be a catwalk on this tractor. There is no catwalk. If there was, I would make sure that it's securely mounted, that no debris falls onto the drive shaft. The drive shaft is underneath the vehicle. I know that the drive shaft is in place because the U-joints aren't worn and it is connected. I can see that it's securely mounted. Next, we would inspect our exhaust system. I know that the exhaust system is in safe working order because it is securely mounted. It has no holes in it. It doesn't leak any soot. The rear suspension, the rear brake, the rear tire, starting with the suspension on the rear. This is the shock absorber. I am inspecting the shock absorber. I am making sure that the bushings are intact, that it is securely mounted. I'm gonna check my leaf spring and make sure that it's not cracked or broken. I'm gonna check my U-bolts and make sure that they're secure. I would check a torque rod arm on the back, or if your truck is equipped with air mounts, you should check your air mounts also. I'm gonna check the airbag itself and make sure that it's properly inflated and that the airbag doesn't have any tears or leaks in it. Next, we're gonna check the brakes on the rear of our tractor. That's gonna be the linings are not worn dangerously thin. The brake drum doesn't have any cracks or overheating. I would check my brake chambers. Make sure that my brake chambers are securely mounted. There's no audible air leaks. I would make sure that my brake hoses are not cracked or broken. I would locate my slack adjuster, make sure it is at a 90 degree angle and you can't pull it with your hand more than one inch. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna talk about the coupling, the coupling system of the tractor. This is how we connect our airlines and our electric cord. This red one is the emergency line. Red goes to red. This is the service line. Blue goes to blue. This is the electric cord. I'm gonna make sure 
that there are no splices in the electric cord. I'm gonna make sure that there are no cracks in the service and the emergency lines. I'm gonna make sure that the emergency line and the service line are on properly. I'm gonna check it to the tractor. I'm gonna check it through the lines. I'm gonna check the connections to the rear of the truck. Make sure that the electric line is connected properly. I'm gonna make sure that the emergency and the service lines are fitted properly. That's the coupling of the electric lines. Next, we're gonna talk about the fifth wheel system. This is the fifth wheel system. This is a release arm. I would make sure that the release arm is locked in place. If there is a safety latch, I would also make sure that the safety latch has the release arm locked in position. I made sure that the locking jaws locked around the king pin. The king pin of the trailer, I would make sure is not broken or have any illegal welds. I would make sure that the locking jaws are locked. The locking jaws are locked. I can see the king pin is safe and I can see that the locking jaws are locked into position. I would make sure that the top of the fifth wheel skid plate is properly greased. I would make sure that the platform of the truck doesn't have any cracks or breaks in it. I would make sure that the mounting bolts have the fifth wheel properly mounted to the frame of the truck. And I'm gonna make sure that the apron of the trailer doesn't have any cracks or holes in it. If this truck was equipped with a sliding fifth wheel, I would make sure that the sliding fifth wheel pins are locked in place. This truck and some other trucks do not have sliding fifth wheels. I would still mention these items. I would make sure that there is no gap from the fifth wheel skid plate or the apron of the truck that would indicate that there is some kind of a bend and the fifth wheel could not be connected. I would make sure that the splash guards are securely mounted and that they're not torn.